What up, what up, this is Patrick Hayes. And in this video, what I'd like to talk about is how powerful travel really is and how travel truly does transform you and how your travel agent may be a wizard. The reason why I say that is because the kinds of transformations that happen when you're traveling truly are of the most wizardly essence. And my experience with this has started to unveil some of the inner workings of what's actually going on here when we travel and we transform. And so my goal for this video, if you stick around to the end, is to give you a new understanding, a new metaphysical understanding of what travel really is and how it can transform you if you do it the right way. So one of the first times that I traveled for the purpose of following a soul yearning was on December 21st, 2012. I went down to the Chichen Itza pyramids and I had an amazingly transformative experience. It was, I will never go back to the way that I was. It was beautiful, it was profound, and I'm forever grateful for that experience. And since then, I've had transformative experiences every single time that I have traveled to a place that I felt my heart yearning to go explore. And so I started to realize that there's some sort of compass program going on within my heart, within my inspiration, that is leading me to places that I need to go to in order to level up or take it to the next level. So I started exploring what's actually going on here. And it started to make sense that on quite a few different levels, that there's what seems to be a kind of like alchemical reaction that happens when you go to a place that you've never been to before. And what happens is on say like the mental level or the collective consciousness level, you are put into an environment where the culture is completely different. People are thinking in completely different terms. They're thinking in different directions. Their perception of the world is different. And by going into that environment, it gives you like a mental biodiversity that gives you the opportunity to preferentiate more towards a center of what is appropriate for you than you were ever able to before. So it's like you're given more options of angles for perceiving the world because you're all of a sudden in an environment where people are perceiving from completely different angles than you've ever experienced before. So you see the world from a different perspective and that gives you then the ability to say, hey, well, this old way I was looking at it can be improved by adding a little bit of this flavor that I've never experienced before. So in the mental realm, it really gives you the opportunity to kind of like shed a certain kind of programming and then kind of reinvent yourself by finding like, like the center point between what you've previously experienced and what you're experiencing now and upgrade your perception of reality. So that's really cool. But on a deeper level, on a level that's like, say, um, like pre-verbal or pre-intellectual, there's something really powerful happening also. And the way that I like to think about this is it's kind of like a, um, it's like a chemical reaction. So if you put a particular chemical into an environment with other chemicals that catalyze that, then there's a catalytic reaction and the chemicals change, right? There's a chemical change. And this is very much what happens with humans also. So we have say particular geometries that are stabilized into our energetic fields. We have particular energies that we entertain that create different geometries in our field. We have different thoughts and belief systems that have built structures within us. We have all these different things that have created more or less like um, you know our, our structure of our consciousness, right? And the structure of our energetics in our body and in our energy bodies. And when we take this energetic structure and consciousness and we put it in a new place, it's like all of the potentials that we have within our system, the potentials for catalytic reaction that we have within our system that are then put in proximity with the catalysts in another environment create like this alchemical transference that transfers our energy and like reconfigures our entire system. And this is extremely powerful. You can think of this in terms of like ley lines on the planet. Say there's different electromagnetic potentials in your system, and then there's different ley lines. There's different geometries of the topography of the, of the land. And then there's different minerals in the soil and in the earth. And all these different things have a different effect on your consciousness. And I mean, everybody has the experience when you go to the ocean, right? And you're looking at the ocean, you have a different 
energetic experience than you do when you're in the woods or when you're in a city, right? So on a different level, when you go to an ocean that you've never been to before, or you go to a forest that you've never been to before, that has different trees than you've ever experienced, there's like, there's this transference that happens and it can move a lot of stuff for you. It can rearrange stuff. And a lot of this stuff is like, if you're feeling the yearning to go to a particular place, oftentimes the intuition to go to that place is because you've maybe developed to a certain degree within yourself, but you need an experience of something else to be the catalyst to continue that shift to take it to the next level right? So it's like, you know, you're trying to turn one chemical into another chemical and you need a third chemical to create that catalytic conversion so that it transfers, right? And that third chemical is going to another place, right? And experiencing another environment. And this has very much been what my experience is. And everybody else that I know that's tuned into this knows how powerful travel is also. So I'm not gonna say it's the only way you can do it. But what I will say is that it's, if you're feeling inspired to go to a particular place, you feel like your soul's yearning to go to that place, hands down, that is an indication that there's a major transformation, a transformation waiting for you in this place. So think about it like this. If you've been in one place for a long period of time, you've developed, say you've been there for 10 years, and in the first year, you developed your opinions about different restaurants, about different parts of town, what the vibe's like in different parts of town, um, about different store clerks, um, you've developed your relationship to what you think this place is. And then over 10, the course of 10 years, you developed habits and patterns. You like to take this path home because it's the shortest way home. You like to go eat at this place. You like to do this thing. And what happens is, um, while you can still grow and, and evolve from, even though you're in the same situations all the time and going down the same streets all the time, the residue of your past opinions and the residue of your past decisions are still coming back to knock on your door on a regular basis. So you might have the experience of like you have a friend, maybe you've outgrown the friend, but the friend is so used to hanging out with you, they keep hitting you up all the time, right? So this is an indication that who you were in the past created a pattern, and that pattern is continuing to come and meet you on a regular basis, right? It's the, the pattern is continuing to play out. Now you can end the pattern, but still that pattern, you know, that, that's a whole process of ending it. And, and the environment that you're in is reinforcing your past to a certain degree because you've set up these patterns and all these like pendulums are like swinging back and forth, right? So you walk down the street, you see this sign that you've been seeing forever in front of this restaurant and you have particular thoughts that remind you of a past time that you were there, right? So it's in a sense constantly pulling you back into the past. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the magic of traveling is that when you go someplace that's absolutely new and absolutely fresh, then who you are presently in the moment is what experiences the experience. There isn't any overlay of past experiences that can get in the way of your fresh perspective because everything is so foreign and so new, you haven't seen it before, you haven't experienced it before, that it, it, it will reflect to you who you are right now you will start attracting situations to you that are very in resonance with your present state. You will attract people that are very in resonance with your present state as opposed to old friends that are you know, coming to hit you up. You will attract experiences that are very in alignment with who you are right now and thoughts and emotions because you're not being triggered into memories by experiencing and going to the same places that you have been for the last 10 years. And this experience, is, is quite inspiring very often because it, it takes some of the blocks out of the way from the gifts that we're ready to receive. And on an energetic level, like I was saying, there's like different potentials that have built up that can find those catalysts in these environments that completely shift us. So one of the most powerful places I've been to recently was in South France. I went down, there, there's the, the Magdalene Ley Lines that run through South France in the Catalonia Mountains. And it, it's like the least populated place in all of Europe and it's just absolutely beautiful. I went to visit Dan Winter there and we hung out, it was an amazing time. And just all the experiences I had was so fulfilling and it bursted my heart open so much. It was so beautiful. And it was something that, it was because I was on that land and with different people and in this new experience that all of this happened. And I, and I, you can feel the energetics of this when you go into a space that is nourishing for you. It's really, think of it like this. It's like, if you've been stiff for a long time because you've been sitting in one, pers one position, how good does it feel to stretch 
or how good does it have feel for somebody else to massage you and move your body and move your muscles in a direction that you haven't moved before. And in doing that, it opens you up and you feel more alive and you feel more invigorated and you feel better and you can feel all the blood moving better. And as a result, then you have thoughts that are more inspiring or maybe you appreciate something more because you're able to to, to stretch yourself in a new direction. So you could think of it like this too. You could think of it like monocropping reduces the biodiversity of a particular ecosystem and that destroys the ecosystem because there's not enough fresh input. There's not enough um, variation in the mineral content. There's not enough flora and fauna that are creating that, that web that really nourishes the, the, that particular ecosystem to flourish, right? And it die, the ecosystem dies off. Well, you're an ecosystem also. And if you get stuck in the same patterns for a really, really long period of time, eventually your, your ecosystem will start to die off also. And the ecosystem of your consciousness won't be getting fueled with the freshness that it needs to have the biodiversity to support your next step in life. So when you see when there's there's old ecosystems that um, they don't have enough biodiversity to flourish, but then you know say they they introduce wolves back into that ecosystem and then the ecosystem starts flourishing again, right? So that's very much like you can think of that as like traveling, right? Taking your ecosystem to a new environment where you can get more biodiversity that then kickstarts an evolution within you and a transformation within you that takes you to a whole new level. So I encourage you to feel into those places that you feel that yearning to go to. Identify what they are. I know everybody has places that they've wanted to visit. And if you've felt a yearning to visit a particular place for a long period of time, that is because that place has a gift for you. And most likely you have a gift for that place also. When you go to a beautiful place that has a different culture, you inherit the blessings of the culture. You inherit the blessings of the land. And when you're open for that transfer to happen, magical things can happen in your life. And it's really just as simple as going to a place and being present and being open for that transformation to happen. So if you're excited about going to somewhere, I challenge you to go and book that trip to make that appointment and take that leap of faith because it is something that can transform you for life. So tune in to that inner travel agent, that inner travel agent that speaks to you in the whispers of a yearning to explore one of these places that have been inspiring and exciting for you to explore. Listen to that internal travel agent and take action on that and you will be forever grateful. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will talk to you next time. One love.